me how you down, down to ride. I hit the triple beam and let the pies go. Just know that I'm down, I'm down for mine. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feel them blessing like I always say. It's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So with that being said, man, I've been getting this question a lot in the last few days. Last few weeks, matter of fact. I even got a text today about it. Like, bro, where you been at, bro? How, where, how come the, you're not putting out as much as content? Well, let's answer that question. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my Apple and Spotify music. Go ahead and run my streams up. And you can check out my playlist section and check out my music right there. Thank you guys for you guys' time. Most importantly, thank you guys for you guys' support. Now, there's been a couple of comments that I read, man, and I'm very thankful and I appreciate my audience for wanting to hear more videos from me more and more every day. That's the thing. When I was monetized, it was a lot more easier for me. Like I said, I'm going to break it all down to you how it all transpired and how I got to where I am today. So, yes, I would love to do content every day. And But here's the thing. Before I got demonetized, like I said, there was three months where I made over 10K. My bills at the time when I was living in California were only about maybe 20, 25, depending on how much I spent on my credit cards. So I looked at it like, bro, I could just let go of work, do this all day, every day, chase the bag, make the money. See, the thing about it is when I quit my job and I said, you know what, I'm going to invest wholeheartedly on YouTube when I was dropping two or three videos a day and I was able and I was dropping back to back fire stories. This is what it was. I had all the time in the world all day, every day to accept phone calls, to answer emails, to talk to my subscribers. I've been making phone call after phone call after phone call. Sometimes from the moment I wake up to the moment I went to sleep, I was on the phone. I was at the desk, I was writing down notes because I had available time and I made time for myself to do that and copy all these stories down, reach out to people. So yes, I think that's why I did make a substantial amount of money, a lot of money within those three months. So the next month, you know, another 10K plus, I was doing that again. The month after that, 12K plus, I was able to do it again. But being demonetized kind of affected that. Why? Because, like I said, I had to I had to I had to move out of state, so I had to drop almost ten bands to just to move out of state, take care of everything that I needed to take care of the bills, uh, pay off Tony's bills for the rest of the year, so she could take care of the kids. Me coming out here, obviously, I needed a job because I only saved so much money throughout the time that I was doing YouTube. Because remember, I told you, eight for eight months, I was only making twelve hundred bucks because. Everything that I was dropping wasn't getting fully monetized. Everything that I was dropping for eight months was getting red flagged or yellow flagged. And I would get the yellow dollar sign, which means 20,000 views. I was getting like eight bucks, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. I wasn't making a lot of money then, but I would use that money to pay my rent. Then the rest of it would pay off the credit cards. And then what I was working with at the time at the job that was taking care of the rest of the bill. So I managed to balance it out for a whole year, staying consistent with YouTube. So when, like I said, those three months when I quit my job and said, you know what, I'm going to invest all my time and efforts and my focus on building this channel. You know, it was lovely. I appreciated every moment. Of it. I love talking to all the subscribers that I could hearing so much incredible stories that were probably better than my own personal stories. Yes, I stood there every day on that phone every day. The moment I wake up, just talking to people, gaining understanding. People were coming back, giving me more stories. I was able to look on YouTube, look on Instagram, find trending videos, trending topics to talk about. You know, it was a, it was fun. It was a blast. And plus, I was having a great time going places and doing things that I never thought I could because I had the money to help me out and to, to do the better things in life. But now that I'm demonetized, what money I have left in my account, remember, I still got to pay taxes on it. So I've always told myself, just budget, act like you don't have money. You know, still get your pants at DDs or Ross, get your shoes at Ross or go get some 50, uh, 70 percent off shoes, some Nikes for like 50 bucks. You know, I budgeted a lot, but I made sure any time I spent that money in that account was for the bills. So me coming out here, finding a job now that I have a job, it takes a lot from me because, you know, I do work seven at night till seven in the morning. And then my job does require that we put in a lot of overtime. I mean. Tomorrow's my day off and I'm going in in the morning and I work the night shift because I'm going to do some overtime. This month and next month are going to be my busiest months when it comes to work because I am going to give my family 
a great Christmas. So I'm going to bust my butt as much as I can. Yes, I might not be relevant. I may not be consistent with the content like I used to be. And trust me, it would have been nice to continue if I would have been monetized to continue not to work and invest myself in this channel, invest myself in engaging with the audience. Trust me. But, you know, I had a plan B and I had to fall back to plan B. Now, seven to eight videos, I can't do that anymore. Because like I said, 12 hour shifts, I'm going to come home, do a video, edit it, drop it, go to sleep, get my eight hours of sleep, wake up, take care of my errands, take care of my chores around the house. I only have maybe two or three hours to talk to anybody and then I go to work. And I remember my schedule is, you know, two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off. But I go in for a lot of overtime when it's my day off and I have the opportunity to go to work and get some extra money. That's extra money I get to send back home to my kids and Tani so that way they're well taken care of while I'm out here, you know, just busting my balls, working at nine to five. But it did reach a point in time that, you know, now that I'm working and I can't reach out to people, I do honestly miss out on a lot of opportunity for people to provide their stories, share their stories with me so I can jot them down. And I'm probably forfeiting a lot of content in which they're probably going to go to another channel and give them that, give it to them to have their stories being told. I do know the opportunities that I'm missing out on and how much I'm forfeiting on by going to work. But I have to prioritize. I banked it. I put all my ducks in one row when it came to YouTube. Within three months, they took that opportunity away from me. And I was left for nothing. And I went, I went into panic mode for a little bit. It's like, bro, I got to take care of my family at the end of the day. We were living luxury. We were living privilege. We were having a blast. But, you know, it grounded me. It grounded me to the point now I know I'm not going to depend on YouTube. My priority is getting that job, securing that position, getting better pay, getting a better wage later on down the future, rising through the ranks. I'm doing what's best for me. And trust me, as much as I would love to do YouTube every day, drop videos every day, engage with my audience every day like I used to, I just reached a point in my life where I can't do that no more. And I truly apologize to everybody that's been reaching out to me and I haven't got back at you. I'm so overwhelmed with taking care of my bills, bills in Cali, the things I need to get done out here to the point that I sometimes I even forget my own bills. And I'm even forgetting about the people that are reaching out to me. I told to get at me on my day off and then I go in for my day off for OT. And that was the time that I gave them to interview them or drop their story down. Trust me. I know there's a there's a big part of me that it's a big battle that I've been dealing with lately that I might lose out on my audience. I might lose out on a lot of friendships by going to work and not being able to touch bases with other people and reach back. Me and Casper haven't did content for a long time because he works days. I work nights when he's asleep. I'm awake. You know, the schedules haven't been working for us. And I sit there and tell myself, like, man, I'm not going to give my audience the content that they want. Eventually, my channel is going to die out. That's the battle I got to deal with every day, doing my job, coming home, waking up, finding the content, giving it to you guys. Trust me, I'm working as hard as I possibly can to entertain you guys. But I think in the near future, if I get monetized again, I'm not going to take it for granted. And I'm not going to make the same mistake by saying, you know what, I'm going to quit my job. I'm making 10 bands again and I'm going to come at it again and do the same thing all over again. I learned my lesson. I'm going to continue to work on my job. And when I have an opportunity to give you guys content, I'm going to be here giving you guys content. My job's priority. Then you guys become my priority. My family's become my priority. I'm not out here having fun like I, like I would want to and like I used to. I've, made, I've just managed to balance everything out. The last question they asked me if I'm going to do uh, YouTube full time. I don't really know how long my YouTube career is going to last. But for now, let's all have fun. I'm not trying to think about it. I just wake up every day looking forward for a topic that I could talk about, a subject that I can get into, a video I can react to. Trust me, I'm taking it day by day and we're just going to ride until the wheels fall off. I ain't like the old school saying. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. When you got one chance to do this, try to get it done. Peace.